Hi, welcome to the Kristenberry Planetarium. I am Cole Moore, and I will be taking you on a tour of the Kuiper Belt today. So what is it? It is home to small, cold, icy, rocky worlds residing in the outskirts of our solar system. The Kuiper Belt is over 100 times bigger than the Asteroid Belt. It is 4 billion miles from the sun. Just a random fact you need to know. Not very much is known about the Kuiper Belt. The only spacecraft to have explored anything in the Kuiper Belt so far is called New Horizons. It is the spacecraft that holds the record for fastest launch velocity at 36,373 miles per hour. But that's not why it's so amazing. New Horizons is the only spacecraft to fly by Pluto and gave us our first look at the interesting world. This is New Horizons. It will go 50 times the length of Earth to the Sun during its journey. In order to make it to Pluto on time, New Horizons had to launch in a very short three-week window so that it could get its speed boost from Jupiter. Already it has passed Pluto. It had to use a lot of instruments and here are just a few. First, there's Lori. Lori is the camera on New Horizons. It is able to take photos at one one thousandth of the light that is found on Earth. Next, there's Ralph. Ralph is another camera on New Horizons. It is a multispectral visible imaging camera. It provides color and composition mapping to find out what Kuiper Belt objects like Pluto are made of. REX, which stands for Radio Science Experiment, measures temperatures and atmospheric composition of Kuiper Belt objects like Pluto and Charon. Pluto was discovered in 1930 by Clyde Tombeau. At first, he thought it was a planet because of its size, but he only had a telescope to know about space. From 1930 to 2007, everyone thought Pluto was a planet, but in 2007, the IAU got together and declared Pluto a dwarf planet because it had other objects in its orbit that were its size. In 2015, the first spacecraft to visit Pluto was New Horizons. So what do we know about this distant dwarf planet? Even though it's not the closest or the furthest dwarf planet, it still takes 248 Earth years to go around the sun. It also has a slow rotation of six Earth days. If you did visit Pluto, you wouldn't want to stay there because the average temperature is minus 380 degrees Fahrenheit. And you might also fly away because if you weighed 100 pounds on Earth, you would weigh 6.7 pounds on Pluto. Although Pluto is smaller than Earth's moon, it has five moons. Nix, Styx, Hydra, Kerberos, and Charon. Charon is half the size of Pluto and shares a binary orbit with Pluto. Speaking of orbits, Pluto's orbit crosses Neptune's for 20 years. However, when Pluto is closer to the sun than Neptune, it is still colder. This is 67P, not Ultima Thule. However, scientists think Ultima Thule might look similar to this. MU-69, also known as Ultima Thule, will have New Horizons reach it on January 1, 2019. Some astronomers think it may be two close orbiting objects instead of one. New Horizons will have to travel one billion miles from Pluto to reach Ultima Thule. The Dawn spacecraft headed for the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter to learn about the two largest objects there. The Dawn mission studied the asteroid Vesta and the dwarf planet Ceres. 
The Dawn Mission launched in September 27, 2007. Then on July 15, 2011, it arrived at Vesta, and in the spring of 2015, it arrived at Ceres, the closest dwarf planet to the sun. The purpose of the Dawn mission was to find clues to the formation of planets in our solar system by gathering information on Ceres and Vesta. This is Vesta. It is an asteroid that resembles a small planet and is about the size of Arizona. It was the fourth asteroid discovered on March 29, 1807 by Heinrich Wilhelm Olbers of Germany. Rhea Silvia Basin and Veninia Basin are two of Vesta's craters that are 1 to 2 billion years old. There is also a mountain twice the size of Mount Everest on the South Pole. Discovered on January 1, 1801 by Giuseppe Piazzi of Italy, Ceres is the closest dwarf planet to the sun and is also the smallest dwarf planet at about the size of Texas. Light spots on Ceres show water vapor rising to the surface caused by cryovolcanoes. Ceres may have more water by weight than Earth, but it is in the form of ice or vapor. Haumea, another dwarf planet, spins so fast that it is oval in shape. It was discovered in 2004 and is made of ice and rocks. One day on Haumea is four hours and one year is 385 Earth years. Haumea has two moons named Namaka and Hayaka. Ceres was discovered on January 5th 2005 by the Caltech Observatory led by Michael Brown. It is the largest dwarf planet in mass and the furthest dwarf planet from the sun, so its average temperature is minus 390 degrees Fahrenheit. Dysomia is Eries' only moon. Maki Maki was discovered on March 31, 2005 by the Polar Observatory. It is the third largest dwarf planet and its average temperature is minus 406 degrees Fahrenheit. Like Ceres, it also has one moon, MK2, that was discovered in April of 2015. It has a diameter of 100 miles and it is 13,000 miles from Maki Maki. This has been your tour of the Kuiper Belt, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.